what's up for the second time today two youtube videos in one day what a fucking legend just kidding but uh yeah here we go let's get into it nvidia dls okay everyone's saying it's blurry which it is blurry i don't know why that doesn't make sense but it's it's a huge fps boost and i've noticed a huge increase in regular warzone and i'm not sure if it's because the map change there's less trees it seems like less stuff you have to render but here's my insight on it and here's how to get rid of the blurriness at least to a, a point where you can actually use it and make it viable oh man like i just i love red bull lately i just can't get enough of them oh god it just feels it feels it feels the body it just you're you're on a high alert you know okay anyways it's enough let's go uh so first of all let's go down to here this only works for computer by the way if you're on console yeah i'm sorry but uh you should have made the better choice went with a pc even my friends you know they just i wish i had that well yeah i telling them all to buy computers and what does one of them do he goes and buys the new sx the newest xbox Oh, there's a driver to update a really okay we'll have to do that after but because we're doing a video now we can't be doing that make sure you guys have an nvidia geforce experience which if you have a computer you definitely should have it enable in-game overlay and i also enable experimental features just because i like trying the new stuff that nvidia is uh, developing anyways enable that close it go back into well you actually have to sorry you have to open up nvidia geforce experience first before loading up warzone or it won't work it won't load it with the game and once you're back in the game there's three filters that i use makes the game a little more vibrant a lot of you probably heard a lot of about the nvidia filters so you hit alt and then f3 and it brings up your game filters so I added brightness, contrast, color, and details. So the main one that makes the biggest difference is the details, because you can allow the, the image to sharpen. So if, just for instance, I'll show you guys, if I turn off sharpen, it looks a lot blurrier, okay? So this is it with it on. And that's with it off see how it's got like a fuzzy effect around it i mean you can even crank these up if you have a strong enough gpu it, it does eventually kind of wear a little bit on your computer but you can sharpen it to 60 percent hdr toning also makes a difference too i like a little hdr toning 25 is probably enough though clarity color tint you can add tint like you can completely change the whole color scheme of the game these filters are uh, one of my favorite things NVIDIA has definitely done. Because Warzone just looks so washed out. You know, like 18.6? Those are not too much. There. Yeah, no, let's do that at zero. Shadows? This is the nice thing about it. Shadows. Bang. Knock those bitches down. All the way to zero. That's what I do. And now, think you see how it's more clear? That's how you get a rid of of the, the blurriness with dlss and like i say you can you can crank up the uh the sharp and you can crank all those settings up yourself as to whatever you prefer my game looks very yellowish kind of tingy i this is the, that's just the way that i like the game but that is how you that is how you make dls look a lot better my render resolution resolution is at 100 i only have a 2070 super like i don't have a 3080 or 3090 if that was the case, if I had one of those cards, then I wouldn't even be bothering with DLS. So you'll want to go down all the way to, and I'll, by the way, I leave my textures on very low. Like I, I like going for higher FPS, like image quality matters a little bit to me, but as long as I can see the person, that's fine. Like if you have a higher FPS than the next guy, you're probably going to get the jump. If you get the jump on them, they're usually dead. They're just, you're red, the game is rendering so much faster. It's a lot more uh, crisp. The latency is way 
less leg gear. Direct S ray tracing. I haven't had that on since I got this. Started playing Warzone. It just it tanks the shit out of your FPS. And for the DLS setting, you'll screw on the post processing effects. And mine's unbalanced. Like there's quality. I've I've kind of tinkered between both. I think balance is probably the balanced way. It works just as well. I think I don't notice much of an image quality difference or gain. And yeah, but th that's what that's just my settings. You can run stuff higher now because with DLS, you're using less of your actual graphics card's memory and it's utilizing other parts of it to make up for the main parts, I guess, that, you know, like for textures. You can, with DLS on, you can crank these up. But what you can you ha probably have it on high and you'll probably still achieve that 130, 140 FPS, maybe more. I just prefer mine low just because... I've always played very low settings. Even when I was 12 years old, built my first computer. I had everything on very low and I would, I'd run through teams all the time because, you know, a guy, the FPS drop is the biggest thing that's going to come into effect when you're in an actual gunfight. And then I don't know what kind of monitor you, monitors you guys have, but I have the Asus tough gaming 27 inch something. And if you guys are looking for a monitor on the marketplace, this thing runs at 280 hertz overclocked. It's 1920 by 1080p. That's the reason I run 1920 by 1080 is because the capture card I have maxes out at 1080p. But yeah, so look right here, like screen refresh rate 280 hertz. You'll notice a massive difference. And then I also bought the newest Razer mouse, the Viper 8K hertz. This thing is freaking amazing, man. I was just blown away by how fast the click, like the, the polling rate and everything. This mouse is insane. Like I would get into game and play, but if you want to watch the gameplay, you can just come to my stream sometime. I changed from this mouse to my other one and I noticed a huge like increase. Like when I would ADS and stuff and like try to scroll through weapons, like it's way faster. It's like, this is the fastest. This is the only mouse with 8,000 polling rate on the market. So if you're in the market looking for a mouse or a monitor, those are the two I recommend. And uh, thank you guys for watching the video. If this helped you, take this with a, take a friend in this or something, you know, let them know. Like, DLS is definitely good. Don't let people say that it's shitty, it's blurry, it sucks, there's no way around it. Add those filters. You can even tinker around in your NVIDIA control panel settings for a little more uh, clarity if you'd like. But that'll be the end of the video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much. It's been a while since I... I'm putting out YouTube content. I've been busy. My job and working mad hours. I worked like almost 24 hours two days ago now in one day. So life's busy, but uh, I'm always happy to put out some content for you guys to uh, just the things that matter, I think, that people are wondering about. So you guys take care. We'll see you guys next time. If you like the video, like the video. Comment down below if you guys need help with anything. See you guys next time. Oh, yeah. You check out this new fridge I got. It's so awesome. It's so cool. Like, it keeps these bad boys super cold, man. I love it. See you guys again. Take care.